and Glam Queen of DIY and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a DIY bar tools essential so what you're going to need to do this uh, DIY and we're going to jump right into it I'm actually using a um, cocktail shaker so you're going to need your shaker I'm also using four of those crown royal wine glasses. I have four of those. You'll need your scissors. You're using glue and I'm gonna mainly be using that uh, E6000 quick cold glue. I have regular E6000 fix all and I'm also using that Boing rhinestone sheet. A small portion, a portion of this video will be actually sponsored by bbcraft.com. I'm dropping bbcraft's website link in my description box along with the item discount code. Please check out that information also in that description if you would like to partner with BB Craft. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and get this uh, DIY started. Now what I'm doing first is I'm going to take this wine glass. As you see it has the detailing here on the bottom of the glass. And I'm going to be using my E6000 uh, quick hole and I pre-cut my strips to layer in on those designs. And here's that wider strip and I also have pre-cut the small strips as well. And that small strips looks like this. And this is going to be a very simple and easy DIY project. And I'm going to just take my wine glass and I'm going to add in my E6000 quick hole and all of my grooves that I do want to add these rhinestone pieces to. Now we're going to start adding in our bling strips. And by pre-cutting them, it's just going to allow me to layer them in. And I'm going to have to add just a little bit of pressure to make sure it lays down on the inside of these grooves. I promise you, everyone, uh, just even adding in just this one strip actually is making this glass look very beautiful. And I'm going to just repeat this process until I completely cover just the front portion. I'm not doing the whole entire glass. I actually just want to dress up the very front of this. And these pieces in this uh, video is actually pieces that you will be seeing on my bar cart. So this is what she's looking like and I'm telling you she is gorgeous. I can't wait to finish this and, and I'm just going to repeat this process here just three more times so I can finish all four of the wine glasses. So here's wine glass number two and I'm still just adding in that E6000. And this is what the finished product will be. And we're going to just go ahead and add in our pieces for glass number two, three, and four.
Now for DIY 2, we're going to take that mixer, that uh, sheet from BB Craft, our E6000, and our scissors. Now I have pre-measured my bling sheet so I can cut it. But hindsight, after the fact, if you're going to cut a piece, because I'm trying to just layer this around, make sure you remember where you need to cut. I actually cut on top of this line and I should have been cutting in front of the line and you'll see that a little later where I have to go back in and cut some more off. Now it took me a little minute to get my piece lined up correctly because I was remembering how to layer this on because I act this is actually a week, a little more than a week after you saw that first DIY because I had to actually get a little bit better before I can actually finish this DIY project. But I'm just layering it on so I can know where it gonna where the piece is going to go. Excuse me, I can't talk today and where I need to do my additional cuts. And this is how it's gonna look. I'm gonna take that rim off and take that extra excess piece and fill in that hole. But as you can see, she is looking very pretty already. Make sure you go over and check out bbcraft.com and see what type of product you would love. They got some nice pieces. I'm, I'm actually in love with their um, rhinestone hot fix sheets. Doesn't matter which style because I am that bling girl. So I'm going to love this on my bar cart. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to just take my E6000, and I'm going to just glue it straight on to that adhesive hot fix sheet, and I'm just going to cover it very well. Now, what I'm doing, I'm just taking my paint, the back end of my paintbrush, and smearing it even out my E6000, and I'm going to just start to roll this hot fix sheet on. And it took me a minute still trying to get it positioned correctly. And I'm holding it down as well. And I realize I need a little more E6000 on the edging of this hot fix sheet to make sure it actually lays down. And again, I'm getting ready to cut off the excess. I had to make sure I kept pressing the hot fix sheet down because it was sliding and I'm just taking the extra trim off of the top as well. Now I'm going to fill in the last hole that is on this mixer. And I'm just using that piece that had that pointed edge to actually add it in onto this mixer. Now here's that finished mixer with those wine glasses. Now isn't that mixer gorgeous? See all of her sparkle? And you see once she completely dried, you did not see that blue rim from where I outlined and cut that bling sheet. Now look at those four shot glasses, wine glasses, 
uh, bourbon glasses, but you will be seeing these items on my bar cart. Also, too, I'm going to include in two more DIYs because they are items that will be styled with my bar cart. Now here are my items for my next DIY. These are my bells. This one I had DIY, but I'm going to upcycle it. And I have my second one that I'm going to, just to completely do. Now what I'm using to do, do this DIY, this is still that BB Craft Close Rhinestone Chain. And that BB uh, Craft uh, Rhinestone Chain as well. And I'm going to layer it and I'm going to use my pick me up sticks, my scissors, and my E6000. And I'm going to start with the bell that I've had already started. I'm going to just take that tassel chain and lay it at the rim of the bottom. And this is the look she will have. And I'm going just to layer in my E6000 glue and I'm going to just go all the way around it. And this will be another very simple DIY. Now we're starting on the other piece and I'm just actually gluing that whole stem because I'm going to take that close rhinestone chain and actually wrap it on the stem of the, or the handle of this bell. And also excuse my lighting on this piece because it is actually very bright but all I'm going to do is you see I started it with that chain and I'm just rolling. And uh, it's going to be this way all the way through. I'm just going to keep twisting and twisting until I add all of that rhinestone chain on the handle of this bell. Now I'm turning it upside down to make sure I don't leave major gaps in that chain and I'm sliding it because you have to play with the angling of this rhinestone chain as well. Make sure you always, if you're using the rhinestone, that you keep it right side up. Everyone, excuse me for having my leg in the frame. I've been trying to do my projects what's more comfortable for me, but please forgive me for that. I'm starting the top of that bell so I can close close it in and I'm just going to start wrapping in my process is wrap it till you can't wrap it no more then when you get where you just got the tip edge I just cut my rhinestone in pieces and layer it in layer it in
I have now closed in the tip and we're going to finish off this DIY. I'm just going to add that tassel chain again at the base of this bell. Now this is that bell fully complete and here are both of them. Now that newest one got 2M chain and the other one has 3M. 